Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Ruin King. Last time we left off, we were here at the Buru Grotto, getting ready to go tackle something that was going on here. Some bandits, I think, are holed up here, uh, requiring that people pay a toll before they can worship, so. All through, the priestess poked me in the belly and told me to not fish in the harbor anymore. Going to try my luck out around the Blade Serpent Reef. Be back late tonight, unless my arms give out. You're right, I should have stopped eating those sweet fruits. Oh well, new waters await. Noko. Yutha, Princess Aoth Aothia, A Aethoa, said I should build our neighborhood a new ship house. Going to sail over to Turoa and pick up my brothers to help out. I'm thinking we should put a tile pattern floor. Can you design it? Okay, so they don't like you fishing here. Is there a fishing spot here? Because I fished at the last place and they didn't yell at me. I don't know, man. I can fish here just fine. Don't know about you. Oh, yeah, we should switch to uh, MF. Still unsure about like hidden things that MF can apparently see more so than uh, other people. I'm not sure what the deal is with that. I don't think I've seen anything like that yet. Truth bearer, a word please. Alawi, this is quite an honor. My friend and I come from a small village. Motions to a man sitting nearby, one too small to receive a visit from a truth bearer such as yourself. We are humbled to stand in your presence, he says, and bows his head. I think my cat's playing with a toy. One second. Yeah, one of my cats had a ball with like a bell in it. You can have that back after I finish recording, buddy. Halawi, this is quite an honor. Yeah, motions to a man sitting nearby. Okay. Came here to offer tribute to the Mother Serpent. Many speak of this well as a site where Buru and Pelangi alike come to worship. I admit we found it hard to believe that Pelangi care enough to pay tribute to Nagaka Buros. Uh, were you able to make an offering to the Mother Serpent? No. A group of Pelangi thugs blocks the path to the bow of the ship, the place where I'm told you make offerings. Under threat of violence, you must pay a tribute to them before you can offer to offer one to her. They are stealing her offerings. They put themselves on the same level as a god. I trust your time in Bilgewater has been illuminating. Though it is a city made up of different cultures, there are many who revere the Mother Serpent. We have seen as much ourselves. Perhaps we do not give the Pelangi enough credit. Our elders often speak ill of this city, and many wonder why you choose to spend so much time there. The question of such action would please the Mother Serpent. Bilgewater is a city of motion, a place where many come to pursue their destiny. It is only the natural the Mother Serpent would offer her blessing to a place such as this. Sheepishly, his shoulders and head lower, and he casts his eyes down on Lowey's feet. You are truly wise, Truthbearer. I look forward to speaking with my elders and telling them of this place. Why don't you fight them yourself? Are you not strong enough? Seems taken aback. We... I... We were not certain of a course of action. We are not familiar with the customs here as you. Looks as if he's hoping Alawi would accept as an answer and move on. I will put an end to this. I will meet their leader. I don't, I don't, like, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I, I feel like that's what Alawi would say, but I don't like being like, Oh, you should have potentially went and got yourself killed in a fight yourself. I will put an end to this. I will meet their leader. He smiles. Good to see you, Alawi. Tell my village that I met you, he says. Alright. Let's go beat some ass, I guess. Mothu, you have a son now. You cannot go hunting every day. The tides of your life have changed. You must change the pattern. You will come to the Temple of the Waves tomorrow with your family. Priestess Aotha. Degoali. Degoali? I, I do not think it is wise for you to go after this Naga cult. The Pelangi are fools and easily led by false words, but this is not our concern. Let the ocean's clear water wash them away. Sululi. Yes, Hilka, I have many concerns. The dead do not rest well here. The black mist must be drifting nearby. I have ordered a general evacuation back to Buru and Ilta. We are preparing the temples for an assault. I suggest you do the same. High Priestess Kutha. Not go hunting every day. Come to Temple Waves tomorrow with your family. Are these just like random notes? Buru missives. Okay. I do not think it is wise for you to go after this Naga cult. The fools and these lives. This is not your concern. Let the ocean's water. Yeah, so they're still talking about the Naga cult. Interesting. So, I think that's enough lore for me to get um, a new thingy, right? And I think it's a Yasuo book? Yeah. 
Tome of Knowledge Yasuo. So let's go ahead and pop that. Good stuff. All right. So now we have an extra rune for this boy. So what do we want to do with it? Haste by 5% or attack power by 5%. I mean, haste by 15% is useful, but, uh... Hmm. I think I'm just going to go with increased attack power for now. 5% haste seems... Eh. I mean, let's see. Is it, is it increasing the number that my haste is associated with by 5%? Like, is it, is it increasing to 312 by 5%, or is it just straight up, now it's 10.8%? Let, let's check that. I want to know more about that, so boom, boom. So, if we go here now... No, it is just 10.8%. Okay. Okay, so it is just a straight 5% increase, whereas the attack power... I imagine it's just 5% of this number, because the weird thing with crit and haste is you have a number associated with it, but also a percentage associated with it, so it's... Odd, and this number going up is exponential over time. It gets less and less effective. So, I I was curious how the interaction works. Alright. Nuka, thank you for your advice and kind words, but I'm very sick of Bilgewater. The priestesses here are very meddlesome and bossy. It's almost as bad as when I visited Buru. Of course I honor Nagakaburos, but I'm from Ilta. We take our time there and enjoy life. Change happens just as well at a slower and steadier pace, doesn't it? After a hunt, why do I need to rush out and chop down a tree or mend some nets right away? Can't I rest? Well, next you summon a great serpent headed towards Ilta. Can I ride back with you? Great serpent? Huh. That sounds neat. Sign reads, Well of the Mother Serpent. Make ye offering at the bow with the grace for safe passage. Grant mercy for our sins, Mother Serpent. Sign's great ink has faded from time and erosion. Yeah, there's that. Thank you. Oh hey, I'm guessing you're the you're the scallywags. A pair of bandits appear on the path of the bridge and stand in the way. Welcome to the great fishing well. You come to make an offering to the mother serpent? For a small fee, we can make your visit here a pleasant one. Uh are you the people I hear are causing trouble? Trouble? Why we're no trouble at all. We're just here to help. We're tour guides. The place is high up can be dangerous. You wouldn't want something happen terrible happening to you when trying to make a tribute, do you? Huh. Please, try to take my money. Have it your way then, he says, grinning. Alright. Yeah, Lowey's like, yeah, I dare you. I double dog dare you. Alright. So, let's go ahead and drop a taunt. And I get an extra action. So, hit me, I dare you. Alright, so let's just drop some Steel Tempest with you. What is that Knock you have, down. though? I wish I could, like, get an explanation for the effects from here. Attempts to flee and call reinforcements at low health. Hmm. Well, I should be able to kill you here. This is... Yeah, you never got the opportunity to get to low health. <laughs> so, hate it for you. Yeah, I think you're very dead, friend. Yeah, I think you're beyond dead. In fact. Uh, well, the poison will probably kill you, right? But, but not before you get some attacks off. Well, I think the thorn mail passive that I have on you killed you. Too quickly. I don't think I got the one that uh, reflects damage back based off of how many tentacles you have, but I do have the like one that's built into the armor. It's basically a thorn mail effect. Alright, so... My cats are playing. They're chasing each other around now. Little dum-dums. Alright. Uh... Got a bunch of... I mean, they're talking about them stealing the stuff. I'm stealing the offerings, too. Look at me. I'm jacking all of this stuff. And why shouldn't I? Why shouldn't I have it? I am the adventurer, after all, the hero. It's the, uh, the hero tax that I so often talk about from JRPGs where you can just walk up and steal anyone's shit because you're the hero of the game. They owe you. 
Hay ducked into a tiny alleyway off Main Spring Crescent, her heart thudding in her chest. Not from her close call with the Lux Piltoven Casino's security forces, but from the encounter with that mysterious stranger across the card table. Those green eyes hidden behind the ice feather mask had blinked amusedly whenever Hay raised the stakes. Easy to do when playing with a pickpocketed purse, of course. Finally, the last time Hay raised, those red lips had parted in a smile. Rather than a stack of chips, the opponent slid a single scrap of paper onto the center of the table. Hay was a gambler. She couldn't resist call. Hay was a gambler. She couldn't resist call, she'd said, and the dealer flipped the cards. She'd won, but there was barely a moment to celebrate before the guards were on her. She'd slipped them, of course, but not without one thing. With trembling hands, she unfolded the scrap of paper, an address in the clan district, scrawled beneath it, Do come. Hay grinned. Hmm. Yeah, but from the encounter with that mysterious stranger, green eyes hidden behind the ice feather mask. I can't tell if this is talking about Pike or not. I can't tell. Green eyes hidden behind the mask. I don't think he hides his eyes behind the mask, I guess. I, I don't know. Lusty the legend of Hay Haraway. Also don't know how much of a gambler Pike is. <laughs> uh, let's see here. I just wanted to check out the map really quickly. Okay, so... Those two were the only bits of lore in that area, and now I'm getting a whole new lore set just for this area. Okay, so this one takes me over here. I probably want to go over there first, then. Wait, how do I do such a thing? It says just walk right here, basically. Oh, it's up there. Okay, so I do have to go here first, and this place kind of loops around. Weirdness. <laughs> Wow, that bullet didn't go very far. So many fools, so little time. I wish like hitting MF, uh, hitting MF's like, um, what's the word? A uh, dungeon ability. I wish hitting somebody with that like made her start the fight with a stack of strut or something. It seems weird that she just gets, you know, nothing from it. Pretty odd. Um. I guess I'll just, uh, shoot you first. I mean, we, we still get strut stacks anyway, but, you know. I should have killed the other one, the one that was actually getting a turn soon. But it's whatever. We can just taunt with a Lowey, and we'll be good. And, yeah, let's go ahead and barrier it up. Let's go ahead and increase the combat speed, too. We're not in boss fights, these are just mostly going to be basic little battles, so... There we go. And Yasuo, hit him with one of those. You can hit this character. That's a kill. There we go. Yeah, MF seems strong, but her, like, little dungeon to enter combat ability, like... Basically, the only interesting thing about it is you can get two enemies into a fight at once, which is like... I don't know, is that is that even a benefit, really? <laughs> I don't know. Or requires a key. Okay, so we need a key over there. What about you? Also requires a key. Alright, I guess we're going upstairs, then. To this place. Probably be done with this place fairly quickly. It's not the largest area. Alright. Oh, I like your coat. Your coat's very cool. Alright. Hit you. Um, let's see. Who gets a turn? The bandit Thrasher gets a turn before a Lowey. Fortunately. So Yasuo takes a bit of damage there. But it's fine. There we go. So... Anybody have taps yet? Yeah, no, we just, we tapped that one character. So, let's hit you. And Yasuo, I think you can go hit that character. When Misfortune's turn comes next, we can focus on this character with uh, the Heartbreaker. And I think we should kill with that. Yes. Okay, you're dead. You're very dead. It would still kill, even doing it from this lane, so... God. 
This fortune speed is nuts. Dead. And dead so. Pick the wrong fight. Yeah, that was a pretty easy fight. Alrighty. More XP. Boom. A cannon? Why? Compared to the decay and disrepair surrounding the area, this cannon has stood the test of time. Too heavy to move without the proper tools, looters may have ignored it in favor of easier to carry items. Down at sights, you see a boulder that potentially blocks a walkable path alongside the cliff. There are plenty of cannonballs nearby, but the cannon lacks gunpowder. Okay, so we need gunpowder to shoot that and we can clear a path somewhere? Okay, interesting. Oh, hi guys. How we doing? Let's just hit you with that. It's better. Actually slows you at the beginning of battle. Which I like. Okay, so... Probably the plunder crap first. Yeah, you guys are actually really fast, jeez. Go ahead and taunt. And tentacle. There we go. And will this kill? Yes. If I crit it will. Alright, and... Let's go ahead and hit... Crack shot. You're tapped. We have a pretty good amount of that. Let's go ahead and just hit you with one of these. And let's get into the uh, zone two. All right, the crack shot's totally dead from Yasuo's attack, right? Oh, no, they weren't close enough. Oops. That's fine. We didn't really waste anything. I lost like three mana off of it. So it's not a big deal. Alright, so... I think there's one more enemy up here. Yep, more crap. Alright, nerd, come on. More ankle slicers. I don't like the idea of that. That Yordles just walk around with knives and they just cut people's, like, tendons. And kill them. Little Yordle assassins, that's terrifying. Alright, well you first. Oh god. Rest in peace. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hack tactics. Okay, what is that? Hack tactics. On the target. I guess I should see on one of us. Upon reaching three stacks, deals damage equal to 10% of max health and removes all stacks. Okay, so you're annoying. Uh, we can finish you off. You go next, so I totally should. Goodbye, friend. Alright, go ahead and hit you. Two more tentacles. 156 damage and applies taps, or this does more damage. So let's just hit you with that. Especially if you can crit. Since you can crit off of both of them. It's so busted. God, MF's really good. Really, really good. Possibly even better than Yasuo, to be honest. Like, also, it takes a bit to build up, I feel, whereas Misfortune is just strong right from the get-go. So if I was ever going to swap someone out on the team, I think it would maybe be Yasuo. Alright, this now this leads out onto the ship, right? I've got to remember the gunpowder and stuff. Alright. Alright, you jerk. I see you sitting right there. Boom. Prepare to be vanquished. You and your friends. Yet another seeking their end. All right. Um, let's go ahead and just love tap you, and then I'll finish you off next round. Uh huh. There we go. Ow. And who do I want to attack with you? Probably the middle character there. Ow. All right. So now we can. Heartbreaker, you. Probably could have done the fast version of that so I could go before you, but whatever. Not the biggest deal, I suppose. And you. Um, ow. Quit that. You also quit that. Bang. God, 1194. That's so stupid. So powerful. 118, not quite enough unless you crit, nope. but the tentacles will take care of the job. 
There we go. Ow. Can you not? I don't know. I've killed a lot of you at this point. I don't think it's luck. My luck stats, uh... Not the highest, anyway. In real life, I mean. My, my real life luck stat's pretty low. <laughs> All right, let's go over here. Huh? There's a talk point over there. That's something, that is something I can interact with. What is this? Is there a point? The bow of this maroon ship serves as a place of pilgrimage for those who wish to offer tithings to the ever-present serpent mother. Offer tithing. You're carrying nothing the sea would want. Oh. Okay, so I need something that I can actually offer as a tithe. Interesting. What is going on here? Oh, hey, this is how I get to this room. Okay, what do we get in that chest? Feral Flare. Lustrous Potion. Door requires a key. Okay, well, there's nothing else in here, it seems. Alright, so... How good is that Feral Flare? Think for those who wish to embrace the power of the wild. That would be good on... Oh, no. Never mind. Yeah, that silver bullet's too good. Alright, um... And I think Alawi already has something. Yeah, you have the Protector's Pin. Which is really good. Alright. We'll probably just sell that Feral Flare. Alright, back up we go. Now, there was a path over here... Go down the stairs, Yasuo, jeez. There was a path over here that leads somewhere, because I can take this around... Where does this go? This goes to the captain's quarters, which is one place I have to go. We'll go there in a second. We'll go there on the return trip. Let's go hit this up. And see what we got. Bye bye. Alright. No one is slowed. Haste up. Go ahead and tentacle barrier. Or er, er, taunt and tentacle barrier. There we go. And what do I want to do? Boom. And... I could just kill you. Yeah. Goodbye. God, she's so strong. And I know most of it is because of just the busted stuff that I have on her right now. Like the really, really powerful items and stuff. But still, she's just nuts. Hack tactics, yeah. Should probably have uh, Alawi heal herself in a second. Oh, that was the wrong person to do that with. Um, even in the speed lane, I can't. I'm not faster than you. Alright, just hit. And then, um... Eh, eh no. I want to heal with you. Okay, yeah, Misfortune does have a turn coming up. So I can heal with you. Yeah. Good stuff. And now Misfortune can just finish the Warf Rat off. Another notch on my gun. Sadly, not a lot of XP for you I nerds. But at least it's a fast fight. I wonder what the max level in this game is. I'm going to guess 30. Alright, so... Oh, this is, this is part 5. Okay, I'm not reading that yet. So, we don't want that. Okay, this is a phase 2, 2 phase 1. Yeah, multi-wave battle. Warfrat Alpha, huh? Alright, well you're going to be Misfortune's target. Who's next? Now, alright. Um, you can be Yasuo's target. You are going to taunt. And go ahead and use that tentacle barrier, especially since you got some extra tentacles. Alright, and now you're just going to Heartbreaker um, the Warfrat. I mean, there's not much... We can just do the speed one. It'll get to Misfortune's next turn faster, I suppose. And boom. We are going to be finishing you off in short order. Deadzo. And stab. Alright, that's one wave down. We have an ult, we can go ahead and pop here. 288 damage to all enemies. Sounds good to me. Bullet time. You're done. Alright. And that's one of you that can be killed. 
And just a quick strike on you. <laughs> Done so. Alright, when Alawi levels up, she should get all of her HP back, so I may just try and hold off until that happens. We're getting a lot of, uh, whatchamacallit items, though, here. Uh, enchantment items. Ah, there's one of the spots for Braum. And I don't have Braum with me. Shit. Damn it. Of course. And there's no rest spot here. Damn it all. Damn it all. Okay, you're one of the... My bounty targets, aren't you? Level 13, though. We can, we can handle you now. So... Let's go ahead and start off with a... Gale Strike, I guess? Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do one of those. And with Misfortune, we will start... Um... I might fancy... No, it's fine. We'll take the hit. Yeah, I was about to say, I think we'll be fine. Alright, so... Go ahead and do that. And then go ahead and do that. This will probably level slept too. Because I imagine you're going to give me a lot of XP. So I got the love tap on you, right? It's just, uh, yep, you're tapped. Cool. So let's go ahead and do one of these. And you should die. Uh-huh. Let's see. You should probably heal yourself up, Malawi. Yeah, go ahead and do one of those. And you hit him with that. There we go. Ow, but that's death. Oh wait, no it's not, because you are H. You have way more HP than I thought. Okay, my bad. My bad. Uh, this does more damage the more, whatchamacallit, stuff you have. Uh, I think I'm just going to hit you again. Alrighty, and uh, you use that, so you can heal yourself. Consumes all your tentacles, unfortunately, but I think it's worth it. You need some HP. Oh wait, does it not work on you if you're the lowest health? What, what happened there? I thought it healed you. Okay, I consumed Love Tap, so we gotta get that going again. Uh, okay, you have your free attack, your free Raging Wind. Go ahead and pop that. I should have done the power version. Uh, you're out of MP. Hmm. Go ahead and taunt. You're gonna get another turn. And then, uh... Use a moderate health potion on yourself. I believe. Alright, you... And get another one of those down. Might as well do the power line, uh, lane version one. God, Yasuo, you're crazy. Ow. Help me up so I can keep fighting. Can't contain the wind. Can't contain the wind. Yep. Uh, yeah, 422 HP. How much does this do? Oh yeah, there we go. Death. Like the wind. Go ahead and finish it, Yas. There we go. Yeah, that was a pretty hard fight, actually. It was a bounty target, so it makes sense. Navori Blade of Balance. Okay. That looks good. And, yep, that's a bunch of XP for everybody. There we go. R Essence Transfer. Heals the most damage ally for 230 health when landing a killing blow. When health falls below 30% of maximum, heals allow you for 340 it can only be used. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, increase attack power by 15%. Allow you gains 5 overcharge each time she's attacked. And a rune shard. And what do you get? Crit damage up. AP rank up. Increase crit chance by 3% each time you also attack. Stacks 8 times, less the entire battle. And increase haste. And Braum. Guardian build up. Okay. Not really using Braum, so I don't need to pay as much attention to that one. But, uh, if we ever decide to use him, we can take a good look at it. Ripper's Claw. Well, that's not a weapon for any of us, but I know who that is a weapon for. <laughs> Alright, Navori Blade of Balance. You'll lose HP, gain attack power, and lifesteal. But lose haste. It's only 
36 extra, though. But that is because I have the uh, power enchantment on this one. Uh, kind of don't like the idea of you losing HP, though. Whatever. You'll have lifesteal, so it'll be worth it. And we just gotta put a new enchantment on this thing. So... Uh, power. Yep. On... Navori Blade of Balance. And we'll, uh... I won't overflow it at all, actually, because I'm kind of running out of resources here. Alright. So there you go. You got a pretty strong weapon yourself now. And when we find Pike, I have a strong weapon for Pike. Can I, like, mark this on the map or something so that I know what the deal is with it? Gosh. If only there was a rest point, man. If only there was a rest point, I could get that. It sucks that you can't just switch the characters on the fly, or at least, like, use their abilities. Even if they're not in the party. I mean, that wouldn't make a lot of sense, but I would like that. Whatever. We'll just have to deal with it. Uh-huh. Okay, this looks like a boss fight of sorts. Um, major group cleansing. No, I just want a... Minor health potion. Go ahead and use that on you. There we go. Hello. You must be the leader of this gang. You're that Buru lady. Well, I respect a clever opportunist. I won't allow this to continue. People should be able to pay respect to Nagakaburos without interference. Those who make pilgrimage here don't do anything to you. Remove your men or I'll remove them. You know I can't do that. If I leave here, I'm as good as dead anyway. I'll give you a choice. Let us see what the Mother Serpent thinks herself thinks of your behavior. A test. And if I fail, you die. What is the test? You are worthy or not worthy. It is simple. It is the namesake of this place. The test of Nagakabur Nagakaburos. This is the well of the Mother Serpent. Nagakaburos. You killed my men coming in here. Killing me would be easy for you. I don't have a choice, do I? No, you do not. Fine, then let's get this over with, truth bearer. Stand before me and let your true self be revealed. Oh, cool, we're gonna see somebody get the, uh, test. Be tested, let's go. No, it burns. Ugh. And he died. It was as I thought, unworthy. You worked for her, correct? Yes. To steal money from those who seek to praise the gods, that is true corruption. Leave here and never return. M mercy thank you, thank you. Just leave us alone and we'll never set foot here again. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm surprised the Lowey was... You know, mer gave them mercy. They are weak and scared. With or without my intervention, they will meet their end. Uh, yeah, that's probably right. <laughs> They're a bit shaken. There's a cap- This is where a captain would study maps if this ship were a seafaring vessel. One day long ago it would have been. Now there are just various weapons, grog, and a large pouch. Inspect the pouch. Pouch is made of tan leather, making it markedly more durable and more resistant- And even resistant to water. Inside there's a considerable amount of gunpowder. Thank you. And that's hidden. <clears throat> Just kinda chilling back there. Alright. Well, we did that. Cool. So, what do we want here? Let's see, we're all the way down here now. We've been up there. Over there. I apparently missed a book right there. I don't know how. Oh! Okay, here's the next one. The next evening, Hay made her way through the lush and quiet streaks of the clan district, Zonite. She heard one finely dressed passerby hiss. An afternoon sojourn to the dressmaker's quarter, courtesy of a glass merchant's loosely watched purse, saw her swap tunic and leggings for a simple burgundy dress, chosen mostly for its ample pocket space. Only her scuffed boots betrayed her origins. 
The address turned out to be a sprawling house directly across from Giapara Mansion. Was this a trap, Hay wondered? But she had to know. Heart in her throat, she approached the guard. I've been invited, but before she could continue, he waved her through the massive oak doors into the entrance hall. A woman swathed in a gown of beaded emerald silk descended the marble staircase. I've been wondering when you'd turn up, the stranger said, her lush lips curving upwards. Would you like... a bite? You must be famished. Oh no, are you... Are you... are they vampires? It says the lusty legend of Hay Haraway. Is this gonna be horny, or is this vampires? Well, I mean... Vampire, vampires are kind of inherently horny, so... Yeah, who's to know? Who is to know? Uh, let's get back down there and hit up that cannon before I forget. <clears throat> down we go. Alright, so... Cannon. Down the sights. Add gunpowder. Continue. Alright, what would you like to do with this cannon? Uh, fire the cannon. As best you can, you guide the cannonball into the cannon arm and you light the fuse and brace yourself. Okay, I just hit that. Okay, I'm guessing that's not what I wanted to hit. Cannon fails to hit anything. Point the cannon downward. Fire it. Brace yourself. Okay, yeah, that's just gonna hit the waterfall. Do I want to hit to the right? There's like a nest there. You know what? Let, let's hit the nest. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Rest in peace, bird's nest. <laughs> I think something may fall. Something fell from that seagull nest you shot cruelly. It tumbled into the turbulent waters below. I don't know what it was. I hope it wasn't a baby. Yeah, I mean, I... I was a little mean there. Fire the cannon. So, is it this way? Yeah, that's what I wanted to clear. <coughs> All right, there we go, now we're good. I wonder what I cruelly shot into the water. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, Ness, let's just shoot that with our cannon. That's a sane person thing to do. All right, let's go over here and check out what we got. I'm avoiding that for the time being, there we go. So the Buru believe that people don't own their souls. Right. Indeed. Our souls belong to Mother Kaboros, and she can take them back if we are not using them well. I wonder if she's trying to take mine back. I think you are using yours quite well. No. Yeah, he also a little all depressed about the things that he's done. Uh, hello. <laughs> Goodbye. This is one of the, uh, pack leaders, I believe. Come on, man. Alright. Oh, this is a multi. Yeah, I forgot about that. Alright. Well, let's go ahead and deal with this problem. Ow. Okay. Uh, tentacle smash? Uh, well, no, I, I want to taunt. That is right. Um, let me make a tentacle barrier. Ow. Ow. Alright. Keep making me lose my stacks of strut, you jerk. With your stupid AoE attacks. Alright. This will kill. Um, go ahead and attack you. Good crit. Oh yeah, that... I forgot to spend my, uh... My new rune points. I totally forgot about that. Excuse me. Oh well. It's not like these fights are hard anyway. Right now, because I'm a... Such a higher level than these guys. But I'll... Never to spend them at the end of this. Um, still, nope, not taunting anymore. Actually, there we go. smack. I guess that's the useful part about Brahms' uh, thing. Uh, yeah, this one's only two turns. I think Brahms was three. I want to say. Go ahead and bullet time. I feel like there's not very many fights I would be able to build the ultimate meter up to level 3. Like that, that seems like a lot. Whatever. <clears throat> Barely broke a sweat. Cool, cool. XP. Is that enough? Yay, that's enough to level MF up. Cool. Now I can spend all of my runes at the same time. New rune shard. 
AP rank 2, increases attack power after evading. Each turn increases attack power of a random ally by 15%, lasting one turn. Increases the damage of critical hits by an additional 18%. Alright. Let's go ahead and get in here to the runes. Um, so what do we got? So, increase the power of heals. Heal the party. Get in battle with a tentacle active. Mm-hmm. So I have these. Heal the most damaged ally for 230 health when landing a killing blow. And when health falls below 30% of maximum health, yeah, you heal. 15% chance to increase attack power. Physical. Each time she's attacked. I like this. Right there. But increasing the power of the heals is pretty good, too. I think I'm gonna go for this, though. Physical and magical defense up by 20%. I like the sound of that. <coughs> Braum. I think your damage shield's better. I mean, neither of those are really good on you. Each time Braum is attacked, attack power increases. Uh... Begin battle with a damage shield. There you go. Alright, now what do we want on you? <coughs> You're actually important. Each Increases crit chance by 3% each time you also attack. Stacks 8 times. Last the entire battle. That is very, very good. Um, let's take this off, this off, and get you. Just big ol' crit chance. Be good in boss fights. Reduces recovery time by half on a killing blow. Uh, attack power and haste. Okay. And crit chance, 5%. So do I want 5% extra attack or 5% extra crit chance is the question. I mean, your crits are nuts, so I would like to have some extra crit chance. There we go. And, oh, Misfortune does have a point. <coughs> hmm. Probably want to put it on Heartbreaker, right? I actually don't even use this, so I'm going to take Guns Blazing off. Uh, maybe I should start using it more. I don't know. She feels pretty damn fast without it, and I would rather deal an additional 40 damage. 24% increased crit chance against enemies with tapped. Stuns target afflicted with tapped for a short duration. That's good, too. Alright, I still have one point left over, so... I'm not really using double up. Let's go back on that. Um, I've already buffed your passive. What do I have it set to, though? 2% extra crit chance on strut. Which is for an ally... I feel like I want this one. But... Or I can just put more points in the gun. Yeah, we'll... We'll do this. Yeah. We'll just use that. And I should start using that ability more, because it's pretty good. <clears throat> It'll be useful in, like, boss fights and such. Alright, lore. The clink of cutlery punctuated the silence as the two women regarded each other. Hayes' curiosity at last overcame her stubbornness, and she spoke. I don't even know your name. Companion grinned, nor do I yours. The green-eyed woman paused as she surveyed Hayes. Selenia. Hey, suppose you weren't the one who called, called guards on me. Selenia shook her head. Then ruin our game. By the gates, no. More wine, my dear? What's happening here? Is it horny or vampire? This is a nice place. A lot of heart. You should be proud, Imami. I am. Someday you should come to the Freljord. The Avarosans have excellent hospitality. Yeah, Brom loves the place. Brom's just too wholesome, man. Alright, so... That was the area that I destroyed, like, right here, right? Wasn't that the... Yeah, it was. That was the, like, rock thing I destroyed, I think. Interesting. Okay. Hello? Calling elevator? Oh, okay, so that's just for the elevator. Interesting. I like the little boat elevators that they have. 
It's adorable. Alright. We're getting really down into the depths here. Of this place. Yeah, we've been everywhere else, so we're nearly finished with this zone. Of course, apparently I missed a chest over there. Wow, that was pretty early on, too. Okay. Alrighty, we'll see, see if we can go back and check that. Stumbling alone at the bottom of the shaft is a disheveled man muttering to himself. <clears throat> he doesn't look up at anyone approaching him, seemingly unaware of those around him, and just continues to turn his head and address people or things no one sees. He has attention. Nothing seems to grab his attention. Even when standing right in front of his face, he stares at something past you. It's something that can't be seen or understood. Oh man. You can see to the other side. Oh, I didn't even see that. But you knew I'd... She didn't want to finish that sentence. Not in front of the loveliest woman she'd seen in some time. It was clearly escalating their mutual flirtation, but her companion simply laughed. Of course I knew you'd picked my pocket already. I could not have arrived at my current station in life without a sense for such things. Zinnia took a sip from her own glass, without an appreciation for the boldness required to live such a life. He reached across the table and took Selenia's soft, manicured hand between her own deft-fingered, blunt-nailed ones. I'm glad you appreciate my... boldness. Oh yeah, they horny. Okay. The journal details the operations of a scavenger crew that recovered tithings offered to the Mother Serpent. Apparently one of them was extremely meticulous in recording their findings. A few sections stand out. <coughs> Week one starts optimistic. Tom, the biggest and burliest of the bunch, has the best lungs and recovered hundreds of coins from diving alone. They discuss the cost benefit of buying a diving suit to collect more coins faster. There is some debate, but economics prevails and they get a diving suit. Divers keep seeing a shadow follow them during their dives. One of the crew, Linus, insists on stopping, but the others won't listen to him. It's implied that they don't respect Linus because he has the weakest lungs, which he claims is because of a childhood illness. At the beginning of week six, most of the crew died in a whirlpool that happened in otherwise calm waters. Linus was the only survivor. The author notes that Linus doesn't want to even pawn their latest haul, a relic that is stored in the box nearby. Look inside the box. Golden Tithe offering. Opening the box, there's a relic inside. Surely the Mother Serpent would appreciate its return. Allow he could head to the bow of the ship and offer it back into the sea. Oh, what are you doing with that? Put that down. Your Linus. You don't understand what that thing is. It's cursed. You'll kill us all. All right, Linus. Oh wow, you really don't have a lot of HP, Linus. Um, I don't think they're gonna grow if they're dead. Which I'm pretty sure Linus is about to be dead. Sorry, Linus. I apologize. Poor Linus. All right. Well, that's that. Okay, we can do some more fishing. Apparently. Oh, there's that item I knocked down from the seagull thing. Alright, can we catch some new fish? What do we got? Anything cool? Get over here. Come on the papayas. Come on the papayas. Wait, I am reeling in. What's happening? I think the game just... I think it bugged. Like, I'm pressing all the keys and nothing's happening. Weird. That was... that was weird. I, I was pressing all the keys... And just, it stopped coming. Was my rod maybe not strong enough for it or something? That'd be weird. I think it just got stuck. I think that was just a little baby glitch. Oh well. Not the biggest deal in the world. Come on, fishies. Come get into Papa Yasuo's fishing pouch. I don't know what to call it. A coral creeper. A fish that lives in coral, often sneaking up on other fish and scaring away large schools. Yeah, I mean, you're pretty terrifying, so I can see scaring something away. Little nightmare fish. Alright, you're coming with me, friend. <clears throat> I like how all the characters just hold it with one hand, which is like... Not how you hold a fishing rod. <laughs> you hold it with both hands, that's the whole point, so you can get a good grip on it. I guess he also just really, really thinks he has the upper arm strength to handle this. I can see, like, a Lowey, but... I mean, Yasuo is not weak, mind you. But... A Lowey could probably one-hand it. She could probably dual-wield fish. Dual-wield two rods. All the fish. Another Coral Creeper. You're small. 
Interesting. I wouldn't have expected you to be small. Alright, and I'll look in a second to see if there's, like, one really, really far out there. It might be a treasure trove thing that I want to grab. Deep Sea Lurker. A larger fish with dark scales typically found in the sea. Maybe that's what happened. Uh, I just realized that little blue bar... Maybe that's, like, my character's reeling in strength. When that fish got, like, stuck, it seemed like that meter was out. Maybe... I can't reel in after that point, but I feel like I have before. Whatever. Uh, okay, I'm gonna yeet it, and we're gonna see what we can get. Anything interesting down there? I don't see any other fish except for this one right here, so... If you're not a treasure trove... Do you not want it? Okay, there we go. Come on, big guy. Nope, this way. Come here, you. Okay, yeah, I'm see I'm still reeling in even though the thing's not there. Weird. Okay, cool, that is a treasure. Waterlog treasure chest. Cool. Alright, I'm done. It's just a level 10 one, unfortunately. <clears throat> but it'll likely still have some pretty good stuff in it. Uh treasure. Boom boom. Marauder's pauldron that's already enchanted and a protector's pin. Well, that might be good for Braum. Uh, increases your evade rating? Okay, weird, but whatever. Brom's not really the evading type of character, in my opinion, but, uh... Oh my god, another thing we need Brom for. Drinking from the seagull's nest is washed ashore. Calcified ring. Alright, what do you do, calcified ring? A ring made of hardened ivory. Lowers your haste, increases your crit chance. Uh, and increases your attack power, of course. Well, I mean, I do want extra crit chance on you, yes. Moderate mana potion, fire fluid. Yeah, so we have two things down here that we need Braum for. Interesting. Well, let's call the elevator back and get back up there. I guess I'm gonna have to go switch to Braum and then come back into this place and grab the stuff. Are you sure the elevator's coming? Okay, jeez. That thing takes a hot minute. Hey. Go. There we go. <laughs> I had to step off of it and step back on. How does this thing work? I don't see, like, a sandbag going down on the other end. It kind of just goes up and down for... As far as I can tell, no reason. Probably best not to think about it. Alright, let's just get out of here. There we go. So we're back over here, and I just need to find a... I, it's weird that there's not a rest point in this area, just straight up. Alright, but we can walk out here and hit this. I think that is a good call. <clears throat> Return this back to where it needs to go. Offer a tithing. Golden tithe offering. Great Kraken, the cul culprits who stole your gift have failed their test. Their souls wither at the bottom of the sea. In returning what is rightfully yours, I hope to right their wrong, Lowey says. She tosses the relic far overboard and follows it with her eyes as it smashes through the water surface and sinks almost instantly to the depth's darkness. We are done here, she says, looking at the water, lost in thought, and nods slightly. Alright, cool. Maybe we'll be blessed or something for returning that. I don't know. Now... We need to get back. We need to get back. Uh, alright. Let's start heading out of here, I guess. So I can't. If I go that way, I can't get back there. I think I have to go this way to get out of here. I'm not even sure this stuff that I'm going to go get is even going to be worth it, mind you, but... I still want it. <clears throat> It is just sort of rough that you, uh... How do I get in there, I wonder? Yeah, this is that room. Yeah, this is the one with the treasure chest that I was like, how do I get in there? It says I need a key, though. And uh, it doesn't look like you can just drop into it like that other one. Hmm. Don't know. Oh, hey, I never looted you guys. There we go. 
All right, I'm gonna go grab Braum and then come back so we can destroy that wall. Like, it almost feels like I should have Braum in the party just so um, I can use his, like, things. I haven't really run into a wind-powered thing as far as I can tell for Yasuo yet. So his isn't that useful? Best of luck to you, Truth Bear. Not that you need it. Yeah. Wonder who I talked to to... That was you, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, I was the one that took care of the problem. Yeah. God, walking all the way back over here with Braum is going to be rough, but... I'm going to go and, uh... Hit up a thing, grab Braum, walk back over there and grab the stuff. Alright, I have Braum now and I realize we actually have to turn our quest into you. Halawi, you've returned. I saw some men I didn't recognize passing by, Brewer Priest says. Not ashamed to admit it brought a smile to my face. People are free again to pay tribute to Nagakaburos. That is a relief. This well is an important place of worship and should bring hope to all who visit, he says. He stands a little straighter and looks directly in Alawi's eyes. And now it will, he says. Here, I believe a truth bearer would make more use of this than I ever could. What'd I get? What'd I get? Nothing? What'd I get? Um, er, inventory? New stuff? Did I not get anything? Um, thank you for all your help. You didn't give me anything. Maybe you just gave me money? Maybe. I don't think I had 3,000 before, so maybe maybe you just gave me money. I, I don't know, man. <laughs> Weird. I didn't see any items pop up on the side, so I guess it was just cash. Maybe I just missed it. I don't know. Alright, uh, give me scraps of thick hide. Let's go ahead and get back up into this place with our friend Brom. I might actually be able to, um... What's the word? Uh, I might actually be able to get a new lore reward, now that I think about it. Let's just walk our happy asses over here with Brom. I might just keep Brom in the party instead of Yasuo. The, they, there is, like, an attacking tree for Braum, which is weird when thinking about Braum, but I don't know. Maybe it could be interesting. I don't know. Just, like, increasing your attack power to, like, ludicrous degrees or something and specking you as an attacker. Let's see. What's your attack tree? Attack power. Crit chance with first action taken. Increase haste, increase crit chance, increase attack power, reach stack of concussion, increase attack power by 25% while a damage shield is active on Braum. Well, that's pretty good. I don't know, though. Like, it's an interesting idea, but I'm not sure how useful it would be in practice. Braum just doesn't really seem like he's kitted for attack power. Alright. I think we go over here, then up here. This place is very maze-like. It would be funny to make a, like, an attack-based Braum, though. Like, that would be hilarious, don't get me wrong. Alright, let's go ahead and switch to Braum. Whoa, your shield looks nuts. I mean, it is a Hextech shield, but... I don't know what I expected. Alright, use your, use your friend. Send a Poro in. Alright, Poro. Grab that treasure chest. Don't get killed by rocks, please. That would be unideal. I would like it if you did not get killed by rocks. Okay. I can't do anything here, by the way. I'm not controlling it. It's just kind of going on its own. Alright, cool. Poro returns with something. Of Poros and Men, Volume 1. What? Poros and Men, Volume 1. Novella that tells the tragic tale of migrant workers in the frail yard. Under the harsh frozen northern sky, even the dreams of the innocent cannot prevail over the bleak realities of circumstance. Can be sold to certain shady individuals for six marks. Okay, cool. So, it's a black mark item. So that is useful, and I am happy I came back for that.
Now the question is the other thingy that I could grab. All the way over here. I really wish I wouldn't have to walk all the way out of here after uh, finishing this area off, but I think I'm gonna have to. <laughs> I don't think I can, like, warp out. It's weird that there's not an option. Maybe I, maybe I should look at that menu again, just to be sure. Like, come on, we can recall in League. Just let me recall to a West Point. <laughs> a West Point. A rest point. It would, it would, it would, yeah. I don't care if it doesn't make sense. I want convenience. Alright, so you. Wall. Shine. Here we go. What do we got? A Kraken shield. Alright, what does that do? Equipment. Clockwork shield. Kraken shield. It's... Honestly worse. Honestly worse. Okay, not worth it. I still don't know how to get to that other treasure chest that's hanging out over there, but... Whatever, I... I just don't see a way to... Do that? I mean, the only thing I can think of is something up there. I don't, I don't know. I'll check it out really quickly. Okay, I've, tr I've tried everything I can think of to get into this room. Like, it connects to this, but I, I don't know how to get to that, as far as I can tell. We've tried just about everything I can think of to get over there, and I just, I don't see a way to get there. Or we just need a key to get in here, period, and then we'll, then we can go to that new area. Maybe I missed a key somewhere, I, I don't know, but I'm done trying to figure it out, so I think we're going to go ahead and head back to town now, and I'll uh, pick Yasuo back up, because I don't think I'm going to be using Braum, even though it seems like his abilities are going to be needed the most, because he just straight up has the most of them. But, uh, whatever. So, yeah. I'm gonna head back to town and, uh, hit up a rest point and save. Actually, we don't even need to hit up a rest point or save. Uh, so I guess I can just get out of here and save. But, yeah. I hope you've enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you next time.